Hello, welcome to Beginner's jQuery, a killer sites course covering jQuery basics. My name is Ben Falk. I'm a web designer and front-end developer from California who's been working in the web field since about 2007. In this course, I'll be giving you a foundation in jQuery basics, hopefully giving you enough information so that you'll gain a strong understanding of the basic principles and syntax, enabling you to continue learning and experimenting on your own. What is jQuery? As the jQuery website explains, it's a fast, concise JavaScript library that simplifies accessing elements in HTML, event handling, animation, and AJAX interaction. It helps make JavaScript development significantly faster and easier, and an understanding of jQuery will change the way you write JavaScript. I'll be covering a wide range of topics, including how to download and access the jQuery library, what the basic syntax looks like, how you would go about selecting HTML elements in a page, adding effects and animations, manipulating content, and much more. Near the end of the course, I'll be demonstrating a couple real-world examples, showing how to create common functionality like a drop-down menu or an accordion script. jQuery offers a wide range of functionality, so I won't be covering absolutely everything, but it should be enough to get you started. This course is aimed at jQuery beginners, so you shouldn't need any jQuery experience to follow along with this course. However, I do expect that you have at least a basic understanding of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. While I'll do my best to explain things as I go, if you aren't confident with those three, I'd suggest doing some review before starting this course. What will you need to follow along? Really, the only thing you'll need is a basic text editor. You won't need anything fancy. Notepad on Windows or text edit on Mac will work just fine. Personally, I like the Mac text editor called Espresso, which is what I'll be using but you don't need that application to understand these videos. One other thing I'll note. Most of the examples I'll be demonstrating are built off a basic HTML and CSS template that I created. I would suggest that you download the source files and have those files available when you follow along. Thanks for watching, and I hope you find this course enjoyable. If you have any questions or comments, please email me at ben at killersites.com, or you can post your questions on the Killer Sites forums at killersites.com community, and I or someone else from the community will get back to you. Thanks.